Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to get the new Nexus launcher on other devices. Now this year's Nexus devices should be released pretty soon actually. And we've already seen quite a few leaks on that front. Just yesterday, Android Police reported that both devices would debut with a brand new home screen app, which is rumored to be called the Nexus Launcher. Well, that one didn't last very long as a rumor, because less than 24 hours later, Antonio Luciano leaked the new launcher on Google+. But even though this might be a Nexus exclusive when it's officially released, the leaked version should install on most devices. Now before we get started, there are two methods that you can use. First, if you're not rooted or anything, you can just sideload the APK and set it as your default launcher. But this comes with one major drawback. The integrated Google Now page won't be accessible unless you install it as a system app. So there's a second option if you're rooted with a custom recovery install. For the second option, you'll just need to flash a single zip in recovery, and that'll make the Google Now page work. But let's start with the non-root method. To begin, just head to step one in my full tutorial, where you can grab a copy of the Nexus Launcher APK. Once you've done that, make sure you have unknown sources enabled in settings under security, then just have to download complete notification. From here, press install, then just let it do its thing. When it's finished there, press your home button, then select Nexus Launcher from the list and hit Always to make it your default home screen. But before I give you a tour of all the cool new stuff, let me switch to my rooted phone to show you how the flashable zip method works. Now this one's almost as straightforward. To start, just grab the flashable zip file from my full tutorial, then boot your device into recovery mode. And just to be on the safe side, I'd recommend that you create an Android backup before you flash this. Then, from TWRP's main menu, tap the Install button and navigate to your download folder. From here, select the Nexus Launcher.zip file, then just swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install it as a system app. When that's finished, tap Reboot System, then you'll be just about ready to try it out. From here, if you went the flashable zip route, you should be asked to pick a home screen app when your device finishes booting. So select Nexus Launcher from the list, then make sure to tap Always to make it your default home screen. From here, the experience will be just about the same regardless of how you installed it. The main exception being you get an integrated Google Now page if you went with the flashable zip. Aside from that, you can tap this little Google tab at the top of the page to perform a quick search. But just like with the Google Now screen, the animation is a bit janky. The rest of the launcher runs flawlessly though. There's an integrated date widget that can't be removed but it's got a nice classy look. And then the biggest change you'll notice is that the app drawer icon is missing. This is actually my favorite feature here because it frees up a slot for another icon, but all you have to do is just swipe up from the dock to view your app drawer. And that's got a much nicer animation. Plus you can swipe it right back down to minimize. The only other issue is that you can't set a new wallpaper with the APK version, but that feature works perfectly if you flash the zip. So all in all, it's a cutting edge launcher that gives us a glimpse of the upcoming Nexus devices, which is always fun. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.